We continue to look into recent incidents involving drugs at Illinois Correctional Facilities. Those incidents have occurred at several facilities, including Menard, Pinckneyville, and Big Money. We talked with Illinois Senator Terry Bryant, who told us she is trying to help. News 3's Waylon Walls Parker has more. For many, the issues with drug exposure behind prison walls is just that. But for Jake Ridge, he's seen the problem up close and personal when he spent time behind bars. It's bad. Drug, the drug epidemic period is bad. It's not just our prisons, you know. I mean, and they're not doing nothing to get anybody clean in there. There have been several incidents reported in recent weeks at correctional facilities in Illinois where people have been hospitalized for drug exposure. Ridge says he's seen countless drug exposures and not in the ways you would think. Next thing you know, you're dealing with some twacked out dude in the shower or some, you know, I mean, you get all high and then, you know, they're dipping stuff on letters, it's getting in. Illinois State Senator Terry Bryant has been collecting reports on each incident and says in her recent tour of the Big Muddy Correctional Center in Ina, Illinois, an exposure was reported 30 minutes after she toured a cell house. I'm finding out more and more that we have sometimes one or two or more ambulance responses at almost every uh, medium or maximum facility in the state. Senator Bryant says her main focus is figuring out how the drugs are getting into the prisons and how to stop that. 90% of what's coming in is coming in through the mail. And the reason we know that it is in the legal mail is because the documents that I have clearly show that it would be legal mail like in the property box. Bryant says one of the things she wants to do, like other facilities, is electronically scanning the mail and not giving inmates the hard copies. I know I've talked to the sheriff in Jackson County, Jefferson County, and Randolph County. Those three counties electronically scan in the jail. So if a jail can do it, a prison can do it. She knows there's a lot that needs to be done, but she wants to work with other legislators and administrators in the prison system to get it done. As for Ridge, he thinks it really comes down to prison reform and says some people come in addicted and leave addicted. I mean, they're already puking their brains out, sick, half dead, having all kinds of issues, you know, and then they put them in gen pop with us. Them guys, they just, they just become victims. In Carterville, Waylon Walls Parker, News 3.